It's the weekly reset and also the black armory is finally available. So we're going to go over what is available for this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as you guys can see, the annual pass Black Armory is now available. And it does read, The Lost Fortress of the Black Armory. Uncovers the secrets of 801, an elite Golden Age weaponsmith. Rediscover the Lost Forges of the Black Armory and craft new weapons and armor. Now, also it does state that the additional uh, annual pass content will be unlocked in the next coming weeks. And there's a lot of things to go over for today, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, let's go ahead and start off with the challenges for this week. And we're going to go up top, and it says, uh, for the milestones, the Black Armory. The spider has requested your presence. So, we will be making a trip to the spider. Next, we are going to the Traveler. We have uh, this wonderful bounty. Oh, I'm sorry, this wonderful challenge where we need to complete 20 bounties of any type. Then we need to earn 5,000 clan XP. And as you can see, I have a lot of things going on in the tower right now. Coming down to Mars. We have your Heroic Adventure for the week. And it's the Psionic Potential. And you also need to complete that, as well as the Flashpoint is on Mars, which you need to complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the uh, Heroic Versions of the Public Events, you can get it done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard. Whoops. We need to complete three daily story missions, as well as three strikes. Complete a Nightfall Strike, as well as get 100,000 points. As for Gambit, we need to complete three matches. In Crucible, we need to complete five matches. And we have Quick Play, Rumble, Showdown, uh, Private Match, as well as Competitive. For the dailies here, you can complete them anywhere except for the Private Match. And then in the Dreaming City, uh, our wonderful friend Petra Venge is in the Strand, so definitely head over there and complete two of her weekly bounties. Now, as I did say, we do need to go ahead and visit the Spider, and I'm pretty sure he's going to probably give us a quest line um, that'll give us access to the Black Armory, but we're just going to have to wait and see. So, let's find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Starting with the Prismatic Matrix. We have Nothing Is Wrong. Then we have One Terrible Scream, which is the ornament for the 1000 Voices. Next, we have Vanguard Dare Boots, as well as uh, Symmetrist Habit which is a uh, chess piece for the Warlock. And then we have Star-Crossed Heart, which is test piece for the Titan. Then we have a uh, vehicle or speeder, sparrow, whatever you want to call them. And then we have ghost shells, ship, silly salute, as well as a quill and ink projection. Coming down here for the week, we have competitive dance. Then we have Grooving Dance. Then we have this wonderful uh, Sparrow. Another Sparrow. 801's Lone Wolf ship. And I'm not gonna lie, 801's ship looks pretty badass. Then we got City Apex, another ship. Ghost comes with random uh, mods. Another ghost. 
the uh, armor of the week is uh, class items, and I actually like this. It looks pretty badass. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the uh, two perks I want, or one of the two perks that I want. So I have to pass on this. Then we have a bad run, which is an ornament for the hazard of the cast. As well as the Mita Tactical, which is the ornament for the Mita Multi-Tool. Then we have uh, Cabal Arrival, which is your Transmount Effect. As well as Gold Beams Effect. Then we have uh, Talco's uh, Finery, which is an ornament. I'm sorry, which is a shader. And then we have Arctic Pearl. And then last but not least, we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. And then your Fire Team Medallion. On our next page, we have all the wonderful bounties. Go ahead and pick this one up, as well as these. Eh, just that one. And then we still have your Faster Than Speed Bundle. And this gives you the uh, Hyper Velocity, which is the ornament for the Thunder Lord. Uh, a wonderful uh, corrupted ether, uh, transmount effect, and then 150 bright dust. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start my quest for the Black Armory.